Okay, I hope the whiteboarding helped. So let's try to code. Uh, initially, we can do some null validation or nums dot length is equal to zero. We can return new int of zero. So this is a zero length array. Next, we'll create an output array. So int output new int of nums dot length minus k plus one so that's the length of the output array we'll create an array deck integer now we want to iterate through the array from left to right so for int i is equal to zero there's a nums dot length so first thing that we want to check is whenever we move to a new window we'll discard the previous window so we can do that by saying array deck is not empty and the array deck dot peak first if this is equal to i minus k that means we have moved to a new window so we'll discard this index so array deck dot remove first now we want to continuously check if the previous um, values the index pointed by the previous the a values pointed by the previous index if it is lesser than the value pointed by the current index so for that while array deck is not empty and nums of array deck dot peak last so that gives the previous value if this is less than nums of i then i don't need the previous value so deck dot remove last now I have, once i've done these checks then I can add my in current index to the array deck. So uh, dot offer of i. Now, so whenever we have found a window, so we want to add the maximum in that window to the output. So if my i plus one is greater than or equal to k, since this is zero based, so we have to check i plus one and if this is i this i is greater than or equal to k that means we have found several windows so in that case nums of or the output of i plus one minus k so this gives the output the index in the output this is equal to nums of ad dot peak first so peak ad dot peak first will have the maximum in the in that particular window and nums of it will give the value that needs to be added to the output now we'll return the output we'll run the code and i'll submit the solution So yeah, this solution is working fine. And the time complexity of the solution is O of N. So this is the amortized uh, time complexity. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, please do like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.